Hey folks, Robbie Payne with Chrome Unbox coming at you today with a quick guide on how to use a USB 3.0 monitor with your Chromebook, your Chrome Base, or your Chromebox. Today we're going to be using ASUS's version of this. They have both a USB 3.0 and a USB C version of this, and I'll put a link down below where you can purchase it at B&H, and there's all kinds of places that you can actually get a hold of this thing. But it comes with a really handy case. The device itself is really light and the setup process is pretty much straightforward and simple, but I want you all to see how it works and hopefully entice you to get one of these things for yourself. All right guys, so my standard setup usually consists of a large screen and the Chromebook screen. If I'm using a Chromebox, a lot of times I'll just work from this one. Uh, it is a quad HD, so you get some extra room outside of the 1080p framework there to work with. All that aside, this is my normal setup and it works exactly like you'd expect. Most Chromebooks come with an HDMI output. I hook the HDMI into here. It just works. Um, you can go down into your settings on the far left and you see extending screen to the monitor you've chosen. And, and once this pops up, you get the ability to actually drag your displays around to position them the way they want. So technically right now I'm to the left and the bottom, I'm going to let go. So when I try to go down here at the bottom, I don't go through, but over here on the left, my mouse goes straight down into the screen. And so that's fairly normal. That's how Chrome OS has worked for some time. And, and that's been great. But as of Chrome OS 51, and we're now on 52 in the stable channel, you have support for USB 3.0 and USB-C. Um, that's kind of a different animal because USB-C has this stuff built in. USB 3.0 is a special display link driver and we've been waiting for that for some time uh, for Chromebooks because this guy over here is actually a monitor from Asus and that's all it is. Down here we have the case that folds into a stand but it's really simplistic. Uh, it's, it's very sleek. It's very light as you can see I'm holding it just with a couple fingers. Uh, it's, it's attractive. It's got the nice Asus cylindrical pattern going on the back uh, but it's light, it's anti-glare and uh, it works really well. Over on its side, it just has a power rocker, and a, or a, a brightness rocker, I'm sorry, and a power button, and then the micro USB. And so I'm actually going to plug that in right now. And this is with no real setup or anything here. And we're going to take this behind the Dell. And I'm trying to do this without any prior setup because I want you to see how ridiculously simple this actually is. So you get this thing out of the box, you get the cord out, and you plug it in, and we'll see the ASUS powers on. And just like that, you now see up here, we have three monitors to choose from, which is awesome. So I'm going to arrange them the way that they actually are. So kind of about half here, half there. And so now we've kind of got them arranged actually the way that they are. You can change the resolutions of them if you like. And this one's got a setting on the side that allows you to crank the brightness up and down. I'm going to turn it down so it doesn't blow our shot out here. It is pretty bright. Uh, it's advertised at 200 nits. And, and with the anti-glare, it performs quite well. Uh, no, no real issues there. But now we have the ability to drag down into here, over to there, up to there. Three consecutive monitors, one of them being driven completely by USB, which is awesome, and it works It works really well. There's a slight hesitation. It's not even really lag. It's just like a frame rate drop with the mouse. You can notice here, it's probably hard to see on screen. It's real smooth up here. It's a little bit laggy over here. I have used the USB-C version of this with the HP 13, and it's zero lag whatsoever. But again, USB-C was built for that from the ground up. USB 3.0 clearly is not, and the fact that this works with no setup is really, really awesome. And here's one last nugget with this. We can actually close this, and normally this always behaved as, when I close this, this always behaved as you would expect it to. It's now in docked mode, boom, you have one display and a closed Chromebook, no big deal. What I was not expecting actually was the USB 3.0 to actually work once I close this lid, but it does, and it will work even if I'm not plugged in, which is not something I can say for a MacBook. Uh, if a MacBook's closed and not plugged in, it likes to go to sleep and all that kind of stuff. It can be unplugged, no big deal. I actually worked from it earlier today, unplugged, uh, and had it run in multiple monitors. It was kind of cool. Um, and it will change the configuration once you go down to two monitors, so you'd have to re reconfigure. 
And you can see how they're showing side by side. We're going to show top and bottom, and boom, we're set up to go. And so technically, you could close your Chromebook and have it still push two displays, which is pretty awesome. Please excuse the motorcycle that just drove by. It's pretty awesome. Um, it works so well. Um, I'm, I'm really, really excited about how easy this is. And this guy is only $179. So you can imagine all the things that this is going to be able to do. So uh, when you're in a coffee shop, you just take this nice lightweight device. There's no other need for power because the USB powers it. Um, so there's no power that goes along with it. It's just one cable, boom, to your laptop, and you have a setup. Um, the implications of that are pretty awesome because now you have a two-monitor setup pretty much anywhere you go, and you see how quick it just jumps right back to the configuration of three monitors. No problem. Once you've set it up once, Chrome OS remembers it. The integration of this is so well done. I'm, I'm so very pleased with what Google has done uh, with Chrome OS and, and multi-monitor support, especially with USB 3.0. Uh, as I said, the USB-C version of this is also available. Not much more expensive. I want to say maybe 10 bucks more or something. Um, and it does work a little bit better. And the screen itself actually has a few extra options in the menu. But overall, it's pretty much the same experience between them. And it's really, really encouraging to see this because as we move forward and we're going to start seeing all these different uh, 360 and convertible devices, some of them are going to have smaller screens and maybe be powerful enough to get all your work done. But you don't always want to be working with them uh, on, on tedious tasks. And so for something like the Chromebook Flip, whenever its sequel does come out, we're expecting it to be a lot more powerful than the existing one. But that small screen could limit you in certain situations. It won't really be an issue anymore. You could just carry one of these in your backpack as well. It's super duper light. You drop it on the table with your Flip. Your Flip becomes your second screen. This becomes your main screen. And all that problem is solved. And so now you can actually have a 10-inch device that acts as your main kind of daily driver. And so for me, I'm pretty excited about that. I think that setup would be awesome. Um, and so that's about it, guys, for this. It's very simple. Unbox it, plug it in, and it just works. And I wanted to show all the uh, variations and, and different ways you can set those monitors up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe below. Uh, the more subscribers we get, the more videos we can make. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. And I hope uh, there are a handful of other companies, but I hope uh, you guys get your hands on some of these and try them out. And I hope they work out for you. I think they can really increase some productivity. Thank you for watching. Uh, until the next video, we'll see you next time.